hope you're proud of yourself. Oh, stop blaming Gerald, Bob. You're the one who couldn't admit you were wrong. That's why we're in here, chained together in the toilet of a cat house. <laughs> well, at least these handcuffs are fur-lined. That's kind of nice. <laughs> I can't believe this. All I wanted to do was go camping. Just camping. Dad, how come we can't go on a fishing trip with you and Barry? Because, Jack, this is not going to be another one of our cushy family trips. This is a weekend out in the wilderness. Two grown men and the elements roughing it. Mm -hmm. Bo, you got that blender? There you go. Thanks, buddy. Just put it in that box right there. Don't scratch that TV. <laughs> Looks like I got everything. Hey, Dad, where's our fishing poles? And that is why you have a second kid. <laughs> that is why you're not taking my video games. <laughs> hey, hon. Hey. What's all this? Me and Bear are going fishing this weekend. No, sweetie, that's next weekend. No, it's not. It's this weekend. No, it's next weekend. I put it down on my calendar. Are you talking about the calendar that Bo made with two Julys? No, my calendar is not wrong, okay? I called the babysitter and I set her up for tomorrow night so we can finally go see a movie, remember? Yeah, we'll call the babysitter and make it for next weekend, the right weekend. Okay, fine. I'll reschedule the babysitter for next weekend to see the movie because I'm wrong and you're right. Don't say it to me like that, like you're just allowing me to be right. Because I'm right mm -hmm. and I'll prove it to mm -hmm. you. Martin Construction. Hey, Bear. You ready to go fishing? Fishing? That's not till next weekend. <laughs> Jeannie got you a camping shower, huh? Well, bring it with you. Look, buddy, I don't know what kind of a hole you've dug for yourself over there, but I am not going fishing this weekend. <laughs> Barry, of course I remember all the favors I've done for you over the years. <laughs> What's that got to do with fishing? <laughs> Talk okay, him. buddy, I'll see you in a minute. No, put her on. What? <laughs> he, uh, he's getting some bait together. His hands were wormy. Uh -huh. Oh, hi, guys. Hey. 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 Charlie and I have an exciting announcement to make. As of 0700 hours this morning, we've decided to take our relationship to the next level. Well, you started by sleeping together. What could the next level possibly be? <laughs> have agreed to be seen with Gerald Bob in public <laughs> on weekends. Huh. You know, most people run the bases in the other direction. <laughs> yeah, I finally wore it down. I'm like that bird disease, infectious and incurable. <laughs> Gerald Bob, you should give yourself more credit. You're like a lot of diseases. <laughs> Rodney, lay off. It's okay, Buttercup. <laughs> well, I should get going. Time to make the streets of Tulsa a little safer. <laughs> Well, bicycle. Oh, me. Admit it, Charlie. The government gives you cash back for dating him, don't they? Rodney, now that Gerald, Bob, and I are a two-day-a-week item, I would greatly appreciate it if you showed him just a little respect. Come on, Charlie. I'm just playing with him. I'm going to go load the truck. Okay. Have fun camping on the wrong weekend. Have fun writing stuff down on the wrong date. What is going on with you? I've never seen you stand up for Gerald Bob. Well, you know, people change. Mm. You want a beer? Uh, no. Oh my God, you're pregnant. <laughs> no, I am not pregnant. I might be pregnant. <laughs> and I will find out as soon as I return these whitening strips and get that pregnancy test I meant to buy. Trina marked it down for next weekend. I marked it down for next weekend. And now we're out here looking for a place to pitch our tent because the campground manager had it down for next weekend. Now, isn't it possible, just possible, that you got the date wrong? Isn't it possible, just possible, that you're starting to sound like a woman? Are we anywhere near the lake? Well, how should I know? It's pitch black out here because the clouds are in front of the moon because it's supposed to rain tonight. It's not going to rain. It must be exhausting being right all the time. You know what, Barry? We planned this trip a month ago. Three weeks. You know what? We're gonna have some drinks, we're gonna relax, and we're gonna watch the Cardinals-Astros game. That's next weekend. Whatever! Whatever, Barry! Take the blender, plug it in, make some margaritas. 
I'm gonna hike down to the truck, start the generator up. What the hell? Somebody got the truck, Barry! Slow oh, down, I can't see anything. Somebody stole my generator. Forget your generator, somebody stole my truck. <laughs> the only reason they stole your truck was to get to my generator. Barry, that truck was a classic. Just because you had an accident one time with a Model T does not make your truck a classic. I'm not getting any reception. Well, the sheriff department's a few miles that way. I guess we're walking. Oh, good. Look, it's starting to not rain. setback. All right, let's think about this, shall we? I've lost my generator and half my camping gear. I just slogged three miles through the rain and now I got a blister on my heel the size of a quarter. I'm telling you what, buddy, I'm about this close to missing my wife. <laughs> That's probably the most hurtful thing you've ever said to me. Found your truck? It wasn't stolen, it was towed because it was parked illegally. You can pick it up tomorrow morning at the impound lot. Well, I guess I'll call Jeannie to get a ride home. I can't go home now. If I go home now, I won't be able to go camping next weekend because I made such a big stink about this being the right weekend. <laughs> when we started this trip, we're going to finish it. Oh, I wish we could go camping every weekend. Hey, wait. Check your calendar. Maybe we are. <laughs> Sheriff Nickel, give me another chance. No, you had your chances. This was the last straw. But, Uncle Frank, I'm family. Clear out your desk. <sighs> Uh, Gerald Bob. <laughs> hey, Gerald Bob. Did you just get fired? Yes. Did you lose another gun? <laughs> That's what they're saying. But I know exactly where it is. It's in my cruiser at the bottom of the Verdigree River. <laughs> Didn't that happen to you once before? No. Oh, that was a whole other river. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about this, Gerald Bob. Look, I know how much this job meant to you, but you'll bounce back. Hey, you know what you need to do? You need to go outside and get your gremlin, take a nice long three-mile drive back to our campsite. Well, with me being unemployed, maybe it would be good to spend some time with my friends. That's the spirit. Just drop us off at the lake first. Did you do it? Did you take the test? I couldn't. I'm too nervous. Charlie, oh, I can't be pregnant, Trina. I am not mother material. And I got a lot going on. Having a baby would put such a damper on my career. Plus all the other ways it wrecks your body. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. I hope you are pregnant and the head is huge. Bob, we're all pretty beat. I think we're just going to try to settle in and get a good night's rest, all right? Maybe we should sleep head to toe, uh, just in case someone else is a night kisser. <laughs> Either one of you seen my eagle? Oh, there he is. Go, go! Go, go! There's my old man. Hey, kids, get off my property! Listen to me that! Go to sleep! <sighs> well, there is something very melancholy about the sound of a train. Oh, for the love of Pete. <laughs> Maybe it's the thought of the places it's been. Places it's going. <laughs> you know, I think we're all a little bit like a train. Can we go home now? No. <laughs> Does that train sound like it's getting closer? What? Does it sound like that train's getting closer? I can't hear you! Sounds like that train's getting closer!
What kind of place is this? Only the best little pie shop in Tulsa. Yeah. I'm surprised you never heard of it. I've been coming here for years. All right, well listen, we'll just hang out here till the rain stops and then we'll climb up in that tree, and get our tent down and get back to camping. Hi, fellas. I'm Cherry. <laughs> Cherry, huh? Well, that's cute. Are all the waitresses in here named after pies? Nope, we have some that are named after cakes, if that's what you're into. <laughs> So, we have a number of specials today that are not on the menu. Would you like to meet them? Meet them? Oh, hi, Chair Bob. Howdy, Terry. Are these your friends? Yep. Three apples, please, although I should tell you I'm no longer a law enforcement officer, so I may not be entitled to the complimentary a la mode. I'll see what I can do, sweetie. It's just Gerald Bob. <laughs> That's Trina. Okay, make camping noises. The, the 85 oh, bottles of beer oh, on the wall. Oh, 85 oh, bottles of beer. Hey, honey. Hey, you getting wet? No, no, we're dry as a bone. Who was that? Oh, Barry, he uh, just dropped a tray of fishes. <laughs> Well, you're never going to believe what's going on around here. Charlie is taking a pregnancy test. Why? Because she's late, Rodney. She might be having Gerald Bob's baby. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> what are you two doing here? Oh, we got kicked out of the trailer for non-payment. We got nowhere to go. I ain't got no job prospects either. But at least we got this baby. <laughs> well, look at her. <laughs> She's a little head turner. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rodney? Rodney. Hello? I'm sorry, honey. Uh, me and Barry, we are sharing feelings and... Uh... It's my turn. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Gerald, Bob, you gotta figure out a way to get your job back, because I'm not supporting you and that ugly baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I was just looking for the bathroom. I'm in the wrong place. You're in the right place. We have a bathroom here, too. <laughs> Have a seat. Okay. What's your name? Rodney. Oh. <laughs> I'm Pumpkin. Hi. <laughs> you girls, uh, you sure got a nice break room. <laughs> How much money do you have, Rodney? A couple of hundred bucks. Why? Well, for 300 bucks, you'd get an hour. <laughs> Two hundred, you'd only get. <laughs> you sure you don't have another hundred dollars, Rodney? No, you're a. Uh, this is a. Uh, I'm in a. Uh, I, I gotta go. We gotta get out of here. What? This pie shop is not a pie shop. Well, what is it then? It rhymes with Dormouse. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That means I'm not the best looking guy Cherry's ever seen. <laughs> what are you boys talking about? Cheryl, Bob, you've been coming here for years. Haven't you ever noticed anything unusual? Well, I will admit that not all the fire exits are adequately posted. <laughs> oh, come on, take a look around. The sexy waitresses, the enormous bus boys. The girl named Pumpkin, who was two buttons away from showing me her pumpkins. Oh, my stars. We gotta get out of here. The cops bust place like this all the time. If Trina finds out I'm here, she's gonna kill me. All right, everybody, this is a raid. Go! Oh. No. Put your hands on the wall and spread your feet unless you're already doing something. <laughs> 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 Either one of you have like a paper clip or a ballpoint pen. Pocket knife? You got a pocket knife? No, I was just adding things to the wish list. 
Oh, I just remembered I have a spare handcuff key tucked away in my gremlin. Well, unless gremlin is a nickname for your ass, we're in trouble. <laughs> This thing is like a puzzle. All right, look, stand up, Jeff Bob. Stand out! Go! Well, I'm gonna go get Jerry Bob's key, okay? <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> hey, pumpkin. Hello? Do you copy? This is the Tulsa Sheriff's Department. Who is this? This is Deputy Gerald Bob Ridley. <laughs> I need to talk to the sheriff. Ridley, what are you doing on an official police band? Hey, Uncle Frank. I am in need of backup at the pie shop on Highway 20. Ridley, you are no longer with the department. Just get your old wrinkled ass down here now. <laughs> To do batters. <laughs> See, Sheriff, the gentleman callers would come in, take a seat, order through that menu there. Is the uh, oh, hey, coach, how's your boy? <laughs> oh, there he is. Well, they sure grow up fast, don't they? <laughs> See you, Jerry Bob. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too, Cherry. You're the best secret hooker waitress I've ever had. <laughs> Carol, Bob, you know that woman? Well, yeah, she, uh, she was, uh, I would, uh, uh, Sheriff, I don't know if you know this or not, but Gerald Bob's been staking this place out for years. He wanted to gather enough evidence before he called you. And in order to get all the criminals to drop their guard, he had to convince all of us that he was a complete nut or idiot. <laughs> uh, he's been that way for 33 years. <laughs> I'm not saying the role was a stretch. Excellent work, Deputy. Excellent work. Deputy? Really? Yeah. All right, single file! Single file, people! Let's go! <laughs> Big night planned? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go home, take a shower, cuff Jeannie to the bedpost, and make her watch me eat that pie. <laughs> you got a hell of an imagination, buddy. <laughs> eh, not really. Jeannie did it to me once with a meatloaf sandwich. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Trina, you never realize how good something is until you're deprived of it. Yeah, I bet you're relieved. I am, I guess. What do you mean? Well, I don't know. For a second there when I thought I might be having... I guess I like the idea of it. You remember who the potential father almost was, right? I know. But would it really have been all that bad? I mean, Gerald Bob adores me. Could have done a lot worse. I've done a lot worse. <laughs> Plus, I think we would have made really cute babies. Hey. You look radiant. <laughs> Would, uh, you say she's, uh, glowing? No. no. Okay, Gerald Bob, let's go back to my place. And this time, we don't have to sleep head to toe. This is the best day ever. <laughs> Ron, I don't want to get all touchy-feely here, but I just want to thank you for everything you did for me tonight. Don't mention it, buddy. Huh? Sorry. Weekends only. <laughs> but this is the weekend. Then just now. So you cut your fishing trip short, huh? Yeah. 
We call our limit. Decided to pack it in early. <laughs> yeah. Anything exciting happen? No. Kind of boring. Huh. Well, you missed a few phone calls around here while you were out. Uh, campground manager called, wanting to confirm your reservation for next weekend. <laughs> and a farmer out on Route 64, he found a tent with your name on it up in a tree. <laughs> and your cell phone was found in a whorehouse. <laughs> Well, that's good news about Charlie, isn't it? Heavenly. <laughs>